Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do As Part. If you're new, my name is Ashley. Today we're going to be doing an all day whole house cleaning. So I hope you're needing some serious cleaning motivation because you came to the right spot. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe, but we're going to get straight into today's video. So one of the main things I want to focus on today is getting my laundry caught up. It has gotten out of control. I even want to get all my bedding done. Um, I like to do this once a week. I just sleep so much better when my sheets are clean and they have that nice um, scent from the laundry softener. So if you're not sleeping well, I highly suggest you ripping off all those sheets and shams and pillow cushions. All of that, get them nice and clean. I promise you will sleep so much better the night that you do that. And then I'm gonna head into my laundry room. I have so much laundry to get done. I'm gonna go ahead and sort it. Typically when I do one load a day, I'll just throw everything in together, but I'm gonna have so many loads. I'm gonna go ahead and get it separated. So I'm gonna do towels and then lights and then darks. I wear a lot of grays and that can go either way. So if I have more darks than lights, I'll go ahead and start throwing some light grays over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get everything sorted so I can get a load in the washer. So basically when it's laundry day, I just like to compile everything together so I can see what I'm working with. It's a little overwhelming at the beginning, but it's so rewarding at the end. And I'm gonna kind of show you as we go through the video, I'm just gonna do little laundry updates so you can see that I'm getting through it. But right now I'm just getting all the laundry in our house that needs to be clean. And I'm gonna show you a few clips of all the stuff I have to get done. I'm telling you the camera did not even make it seem as bad as it was. We had so much laundry. So I'm gonna get the first load going and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with our clothes just so we have some. I'm running out of like pajamas and socks for the week. So I try to do the most important load first and then I always save my towels for last because if I throw them in the dryer and it's late, um, they can stay there overnight and I'm not worried about them wrinkling. And after I go ahead and get my clothes done, I will start the bedding because that's something that has to be done as well. But like I was saying, we were just running out of things. So I wanted to go ahead and get the clothes going and I knew they would dry faster than our bedding. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it going. I've been using this Tide. I switch up my laundry stuff quite often, but I've been liking a lot. And then my softener is just a Walmart off brand and it smells so good. I think it's nice to change up your laundry softener every time you buy because otherwise you get used to the scent and you don't smell it versus when you're changing it up every time. Now that I have my laundry going, I'm just gonna run into my beauty room and just do a real quick tidy up. I like to make sure my blanket's folded up. I have like a hanger out from getting ready. I wanna clear off my vanity just to kind of make sure it's nice and clean. Since I work in here, I don't wanna look around and have like a dirty home. So I like to just spend a few minutes in getting it cleaned up. I decided to go ahead and grab my just like Jaws hardwood cleaner to clean off my vanity. This thing gets so dirty all the time. And I recently, in my last like day in the life video over on our vlog channel, 
I had Chase um, hang up my mirror because I hadn't done it since we rearranged rooms again. And there was like a lot of dust where the mirror was sitting on the table. So I wanted to go ahead and get it clean just so I didn't have to keep sitting there looking at the dust when I was getting ready. And then I had noticed the other morning that this door has gotten so dusty. I don't think I've ever cleaned it. Um, this isn't the door that came with our house. Um, I didn't like the way it opened up because you could never see our window in there. So when this was my office previously, I added a barn door here and then Savannah took over this room and she did not like it. It was too heavy. So we took it down and this is the style door she wanted and it really does work out best. So when it's open, I still have natural light coming in, but I had never cleaned it. So it was super dusty. So I decided to go ahead and get it wiped down. So I absolutely despise cleaning bathrooms. I don't know what it is because it's not like our bathroom's huge. It's not even like it's that dirty, but it was getting bad. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down. I need to clean my shower so bad, but I just can't get motivated to do it, especially when I'm filming just because it's already so much work and then trying to get camera angles. But I like to go ahead and just wipe down my sink. You know, we're doing a lot of touching in here. I'm trying to keep all of like our soap bottles and faucets clean. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and work on getting that done. I know my soap bottle was driving some of you guys crazy because I hadn't taken the sticker off of like how much it was, but I've just been so busy. So anyway, since I had the product out in a sponge, I went ahead and scrubbed it off. So I hope that makes you guys feel better. It does make me feel better too. Um, I'm not going to lie. It was driving me crazy. I just hadn't found the time. So I'm going to wipe off my counter and then I'll work on my mirror as well. I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break it. Once I was cleaning up my bathroom, I was headed back into my kitchen to grab another cleaning cloth and a new cleaning product. And I found Tiger just like asleep on my bedding out in the hallway. I thought it was so sweet and I thought you guys would enjoy it too. He just hasn't been feeling 100%, so I just let him nap right there. It doesn't bother me at all because I'm about to clean the sheets anyways. Um, I grabbed my Jaws um, glass cleaner. I do still have a coupon code for you guys. It's Ashley25 and I always have that link down below in my description box um, if you guys are ever needing products especially now that we're like stuck inside and we can't get out they also have a really good disinfectant cleaner so if you can't find one locally definitely order through them like I said I'll have all that information down below in my description box but I'm gonna start off in this room and work on my mirrors and my picture frames and I'm basically just gonna be going from space to space and using that product I sometimes it's so much easier just to grab the Windex and a rag and get everything done in the house that I can use it on and then go to the next product and that's kind of what happened with this today So I came in our master bedroom just to wipe down our nightstands because they're mirror and I like to get them clean and I noticed we hadn't put the pillows back on the bed. I am one of those that even though my sheets are off, I still want my bed to look as neat as possible. So I'm just going to fluff up all the pillows that I have. They don't have like pillowcases on them right now, but then I just put my dirt like decorative throw pillows on front and it just look, makes it look somewhat put together because my sheets probably aren't going to get done anytime in the near future. It's going to be a few hours because I have so much laundry. So I feel like the room just is more put together this way. Open eye through the waves cut through. 
I also decided to wipe down these pictures. We had been rearranging and moved our mirror and these pictures and then the artwork that was in here. And we got everything rehung, but I never cleaned it all off. So I keep noticing all the fingerprints from like Chase touching them to hang them. So you're gonna see me work on all those items that we rearranged just so they're nice and clean since we had been touching them so much. Now that I worked on all those items that we had rearranged, I thought I'd run in here and work on the Savannah's items. Um, they didn't have really any fingerprints on them because they haven't been touched, but they do get a little dusty and I thought I would go ahead and wipe down her mirror. There's sometimes I just get on a roll when I have like a product and a rag, I just keep going and it's just an easy way to clean. You could just do this with one product a day. Just pick one product and grab one rag and clean all your glass and then one day clean all your wood. Um, that's not what I'm doing today. I still have lots of other cleaning to do, but if you're stuck at home and just don't have a lot of time or you're super overwhelmed, just grab that one product and clean as much as you can. But now I'm gonna head into my guest bathroom. This is Savannah's bathroom. Obviously no guests are coming in right now, so it's mainly just hers and I'm just gonna clean it out real quickly. Okay, now I'm gonna work on my back door. This thing is always a mess. The boys claw to get out and then they claw to get in. You know how that goes, you're just never happy. Um, the outside does get worse just because it's been really rainy and muddy here. So when they pull on it, mud actually gets on it. So I definitely wanted to clean it both sides. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that yes, I did recolor my hair. I'm sure you can tell right here in the natural light. I love this color. I feel like it's a gorgeous. Um, I've used it for over a decade. I've colored my own hair for over a decade. So if you guys are looking for a product right now while you guys are stuck inside, I have that in my Amazon store and it is super, super, super affordable. Make me feel fine. Wanna look at you all night. Put you in that spotlight. Oh, you know. So now I'm gonna start tidying up my kitchen. We had a few things out. Savannah likes to decorate or rearrange her room as much as I do. And she was playing with some of my cake stands, seeing what she wanted out in her bedroom. So I had pulled them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in. And then we had had Pop-Tarts this morning for breakfast. So I'm gonna put that away as well. And then I'm gonna work on getting all the dishes put away. Oh, I just want you now. 
just in case you're wondering, I always get questions about these pants when I wear them. They're just from Ross, so obviously nobody can go buy them right now, but when the stores open back up, they have amazing deals on jeans and they're super affordable. They're under like $17, so definitely check them out. And then my shirt is just from um, at TJ Maxx, like last year, there was like three or four of them and they all went on clearance. So I just bought them up. There's just, I love a good basic black tee. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab that Jaws cleaner. It's a disinfectant, so I can't wipe it off immediately. Um, this one on the bottle says you have to let it set for 10 minutes. So I like to go ahead and just spray it down and then move on to the next drawer and I'll come back later and wipe it up. So I'm just going to grab my wood cleaner now and work on my dining table. Sing until my lungs give out your beautiful Since I already had the wood cleaner in my hand and a rag, I decided to go ahead and go into my living room and wipe down all my wood pieces. I find it's just so much quicker and easier that way. Um, it saves me time from having to do it tomorrow. I already have it in my hand. I already have the rag, so I don't have to reuse another one tomorrow. So I just feel like it's easy when you have something in your hand, just clean as much as you can and it will make cleaning go by so much faster and your house will just stay more picked up as you go throughout the week. While I was wiping down my coffee table, I realized I had not watered my snake plants in forever. It's probably been over a month and they still just look so alive and so pretty. So I'm telling you, if you do not have a green thumb and you think you can't keep a plant alive, but you're like dying to try one out, grab a snake plant. They are so, so easy to keep alive. Like I rarely water them and they still look gorgeous and it's still growing so well. By this time it had been 10 minutes so I went ahead and grabbed a new rag and I'm going to wipe down my countertops because all of that disinfectant had been sitting on them but now it's good to go so I'm going to go ahead and get them cleaned up. So I heard that the laundry was done, so I went straight in there to switch over the load of laundry. If you're just doing one or two loads, you can definitely let it sit in there for a little bit and it's not a big deal. But when you have as many loads as I do and you're trying to get it done before bed, especially knowing I have to get all my sheets done as well, I try to stay on top of it. My dryer also has like a timer or a sensor when it goes off, it will beep and you can like turn it up or down. I highly suggest using that when you're trying to stay on top of laundry for one day. Um, I don't always use it, but on this particular day I did just so as soon as that dryer went off, it beeped and I knew I could go over there and switch my loads out.
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and separate the laundry down here. I cleared out two of these bins. So now I'm gonna break up my um, bedding. So I'll do all my sheets and shams and pillowcases and that thin blanket all in one load. And then I have to run a separate load just for my comforter. It is so big, but I can leave that link down below. Um, I get a ton of questions about that comforter. I throw it in the washer all the time and it holds up really well and it's on clearance right now. So I'll leave that link as well. I'm gonna put the dirty or the clean basket of clothes on the sectional and then I had emptied out Savannah's. So I'm gonna put that up in her room and then I'll go back and get the laundry folded. Like we're finally making a progress on this little laundry nook right here that was full to begin with now at least everything is in the hamper so i know we're making progress but while my laundry runs i'm gonna go ahead and work on vacuuming my floors Now I'm gonna go back into my laundry room and switch out the loads again. Um, I felt like I lived in my laundry room on this particular day. I will say my house smelled amazing because of all the softener that was lingering in my house. So if you wanna see if I get all the laundry done that I had piled out there, you're definitely gonna have to stay until the very end of today's video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start my sheets load. And this is a very important load because once I get this going, I have to make sure they're done and dry before we go to bed that night. Um, a lot of you guys always tell me to buy a second set of sheets. I just love pulling out my sheets when they're nice and warm and they smell amazing and putting them onto my bed. I could have a second set, but I just don't feel like they smell as good when you put them on. So it to me, it's worth it just to wash them in one day and put them back on because I don't know, I just love crawling into night nice warm fresh smelling sheets seen that keeps playing on repeat ignores the rule of thumb oh where does it come from oh where does it come from all your emotions with your heart on your sleeve it won't fade until you paint it black I'll Okay, but I feel that it will come back. 
So here's a look at my bed currently. I just keep throwing all the clean clothes in there on my bed. It was a beautiful day, so we were spending it outside, so I kept just running in to switch the laundry. Normally, I try to fold this as I go because it's so much easier, but we wanted to spend time with Savannah and outside, so I was just letting it pile up. But while I have the other loads going, I'm gonna go ahead and mop my floors real fast. They are staying so dirty because it is rainy here. I think I mentioned that earlier. So between Savannah running in and out and us being in and outside and then the boys, I wanted to go ahead and just get them nice and clean. As you can see, the amount of laundry is only growing. I promise you we're gonna work on this a little bit later in the video, so you don't wanna miss that. But I had one more load of laundry to start and then I was gonna be done. So I had a big smile on my face because I was so proud of myself. So I'm gonna get this one going now and then I'll show you an update of how the laundry's coming along. <laughs> It's always so rewarding when I push that hamper down the hallway and it's empty after being completely full. I know I actually did something with my day. I'm not gonna lie though, as soon as I put that hamper back in his closet, he already had dirty laundry on the floor. So all that clean laundry did not last long, but I was completely exhausted, but real life happens and you have to get it done. So I called Chase in there and we're just gonna power through and get all this laundry folded and put away. So as soon as I fold my clean laundry, I put it away immediately. So does Chase and so does Savannah. I don't want a clean clothes laying out everywhere where they're gonna get dirty. So all of us will immediately fold them and then put them away so they go in their home. We're not looking for them, searching for them. They're either in the dirty laundry basket dirty or they're clean hanging up. And I just feel like that saves so much stress of trying to find outfits that you're looking for. Summer forever. 
So a big game changer for me is keeping some of my clothes in my um, bathroom. So I like keeping like all my underwear and bras, anything that I want to put on as soon as I get out of the shower. It's so helpful to have it in there so I'm not having to like go get it and then put it in the bathroom when I'm taking a shower or forget. I also keep pajamas in there because a lot of the times I'll take a shower at night before bed and I just have everything in there that I need. So I don't know if you have the space in your bathrooms to try this, but definitely look into it. Get rid of all those products you're not using and put stuff in there that you'll actually use, but it's just so nice to step out of the shower and have everything that I need. Now we're gonna just start putting our bed back together. Luckily our sheets have tags that say top or bottom. I find that really helpful. I feel like king size sheets and comforters are like almost like a square shape so they're hard to know which direction. Um, you can tell we're all bored just stuck at home especially when Savannah wants to come help us make the bed because it's just a different activity to do. I thought it was so funny. I'm not gonna lie I was so tired by this part of the day. We'd been outside. I'd been doing laundry. I'd been cleaning. I'd been filming. You're gonna see me here in a second and I just like pass out on the bed because I'm so tired. <laughs> Now I'm gonna get my comforter out of the dryer so I can get that on my bed. And then I'm also gonna switch over the last load, which is towels. I didn't get to show you guys filming that. It was super late when we did it and I forgot to turn my camera on. But I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some cleaning motivation. Um, thank you so much just for watching and supporting us. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.